Dragon's Breath has made its return in Destiny 2 with Season of the Wish, and it being a power weapon, I have to do the obvious thing. Shoot it at bosses and see how much damage it does. And it just so happens, this thing might just be the best passive DPS weapon in the game. And I'm looking at Anarchy right now especially, because this thing styles on Anarchy in the current meta. For those that aren't aware, Dragon's Breath has been changed significantly since it was released in Destiny 1 with a brand new suite of perks and a lot of different features. So let's just go over those real quick for those that haven't had the chance to look at the weapon yet. Dragon's Breath has the intrinsic trait of composite propellant, where rockets will embed themselves in targets and periodically eject incendiary fuel that will inflict scorch. The longer this weapon goes without firing, the more fuel the next rocket contains, which will give it more scorch, so it's just designed to be passive damage overall. And then you have the high octane trait, where igniting nearby targets partially replenishes fuel. This weapon will refill itself from reserves upon gaining maximum fuel. Just another boon in the hat of passive DPS. So this thing is going to be pretty insane. So we tested it on two bosses. We did the Grasp of Avarice ogre which has a name that i don't even want to bother pronouncing and then we did it on keitel this was done for two reasons one because they're easy bosses to test on and two it kind of goes around the range of a burst dps boss versus a sustained dps boss keitel has a lot of burst moments when you are doing her damage phase while the ogre really doesn't so i wanted to see how they would perform in those scenarios both tests we did we just did with the base version of Dragon's Breath, no Catalyst. The Catalyst just gives it more fuel, so inevitably just more damage, so it just makes it straight up better, but I'm not gonna grind 20 hours to get the Catalyst just so I can make a five minute video. I'm just not gonna bother with that. So we're doing it without the Catalyst, but I just want you to know that with the Catalyst, it is significantly better. So without further ado, we're gonna start with the Grasp of Avarice Ogre, and then we will go on to Keitel. Severed. Oh. I don't even have the thing that makes ignitions better. The fragment. The scorch. Yeah, this dude's dead. Yeah. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like you need a special weapon. Yeah, you don't. Because... Dragon's Breath is... and all the ignitions of the Scorch. Well, it, keep... it keeps three stacks. Yeah. I don't know why, but it keeps popping back up to three stacks. I have no is idea. Is that part of its other perk? Maybe. And with Catalyst, it gets even better. She's going to the left. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's insane! One bell? He's still igniting. Uh, I think it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that ignite took down like 10%. One ignite took down 10%. What the hell? She's still igniting. All right, she's debuffed. At least for me. Yeah. No, she's feeling it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Just no way. That is so dumb. Good job, Bungie. Actually making a mediocre exotic fucking fun. And I got the TP glitch, of course.
So, uh, yeah, Dragon's Breath kind of fucks. I, I don't know if anyone else is surprised by it, but I am, considering that Dragon's Breath was probably one of the most underwhelming and boring exotics to use in Destiny 1, and now it just becomes God in Destiny 2, and I love it. Keep in mind, I wasn't even running Argent Ordnance. That came back this season as an artifact mod. We did not have that at all, considering the season's only been out for like three days, and I'm not gonna try and grind that hard for a DPS test. But Argent Ordnance, if I remember right, and it hasn't been changed, it gives you like a 25% damage buff. And if that works for Dragon's Breath, you're losing out on 25% damage if you're not running that mod. So yeah, it, it fucks. That's the moral of the story. This may very well be the meta for this current season, unless it's bugged or something, because I noticed like some ignitions would stack and cause insane damage, like with that Kaido clip with the 10% health chunk. Either way, Dragon's Breath is just completely insane, intentional or not. So if you hadn't had the chance to play with this gun yet, log on and play with it, because somehow Bungie managed to make an exotic that is both fun and incredibly viable in the current meta. So I don't know what kind of wizardry they pulled off, but it, they did great and it's obviously working very well hopefully it doesn't get patched within the next couple weeks i hope it's not a bug i hope this is intentional because it is just so fun it's so fun just setting the world on fire and watching it explode it triggers the happy chemicals in my brain I will be working on getting the catalyst as well, just to test how good it is. I know that it just makes the gun better in every way, considering it just feeds into the main mechanic of the gun, which being the fuel. But I'm very curious to see just how much it pushes this gun over the edge. So if you're interested in that, or just seeing me beat the shit out of Nezarek with Dragon's Breath of all things, make sure to subscribe and keep an eye on that bell because I will be putting plenty of videos out very soon. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. One, there's just not been a lot of content to make on Destiny. And two, I've just been moving house. I've been moving house quite a bit. I've had a lot of things happen. So now once all this is all settled, I'll be back on the content grind and more fun stuff will be had. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe, click the bell, do whatever you want to do. Tell me how you're feeling about this season because I think it's incredibly good so far. But uh, that'll be all from me. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.